um good day guys it's promise person here again okay so i will be taking you guys through on this tool first let's exploit all these tools here then the next video we're going to exploit all these ones here and how to use them so over to the tools here okay first of all this is the move button this is the move let's say you click this move in infinite design what you should note is whatever you have to do you have to click something even if you want to move you have to go to a different menu or click the move menu before you can move anything it's not like puzzle lab everything like you can move here you can move even though you are not in the movement in infinite design you have to go to the move you have to click move before you can move anything if you've not clicked this move you cannot move or let's use transform which is another uh, form of moving or edit so this is move button let's say I drew something let me get a shape let me remove it from move and before you effect another change before if you're in this move now and you want to do another thing you have to click on this move again so that it will go out you are like you have to remove from the move before you can affect another thing. like if you're in drumming you have to go out from drumming before you can do another thing if you're in shape this you have to go out from this before you can do this one so that is how this infinite design works Okay, so I will get the shape first before I will have to move it. Let me get a circle shape. Let me get a circle shape. Let me see what I have here. Whether it's a ball, okay, I mean sketch. Let me get a ball point. Okay, so this, this is a circle shape now. I've gotten a circle shape. I mean select here. I will teach you guys how to use all this thing. But first, let's explore this too. Okay, this is the select. I told you guys about this thing yesterday. If you didn't remember, you can go back to the video okay so this is the select i click this select then i go to this move even though i didn't click this select oh let me show you guys if i click this move i can still move it without going to the select but once i click this thing now i can shift it to anywhere i want to move it to then it will move there but if i don't click this move button now there is no way i can move this i will be creating other circles i can create another circle another circle another circle another circle so that is what i will be doing if i don't use this move button so your move button is used for moving let me put it in movement is used for moving okay, keep it to your preferred distance okay so then this one is addicting is the button using addicting and that's why this infinite design is very very wonderful you can do a lot of things here when it's in free you can reduce it this is the first menu you get when you click edit when you get a shape like this you get something like this so from here you can adjust it here adjust here adjust here and adjust here so from this menu now is another form of pen menu let's say all this is now i can change the the format of this my circle to another ink let's say you see i've changed it to uh, ink another ink instead of the other one i can even change it to dot dot this is now in dot dot form I can change it to any form format I want it to say from here. Then from here, in this edit menu, this side of edit menu is like using another ink of drawing. Like this artistic, this is a sketch, and this is artistic, this is sketch now. Let me click this sketch. So it's as if I drew a circle with my draw menu. Like I explained all this drawing, like that drawing is as if I drew the same pattern of this circle. Why? This is the normal, this is the normal circle here, this ink. This ballpoint pen is the normal pen for getting any normal shape. So once you change it from this ballpoint to other shapes, this we are trying to change the circle with that pen. Like you are trying to get the circle shape with that pen. That means it will keep it in that pen shape. You see, this is the shape. Now, assuming I draw something now, assuming I draw something, let me remove this guy. Let me draw, put it in draw now. Since it's in this shape, assuming I draw a circle now, okay, the, circle, the color is in white. Let me change it from white to black. It's when I draw a circle, you see? Okay, it's still in the circle menu. Let me go back. I removed it from the circle. It's in draw now. So let me draw something. You see what I'm drawing now is now in the same figure of this this one I'm using. This is it. This is the, the format of the pen side. The pen I'm using. This is what it looks like. What you are drawing with it. So if you are getting a shape also, that's what it's going to look like. This is a circle. This opacity is... Come on, let me create the opacity. This, you see, it's still giving me the same pattern if I'm getting a circle. 
So if I'm drawing something, also remove it from getting a circle shape from draw. It's also be giving me something like that also. So draw each pen here with any shape you are getting with. If, even though this is a triangle, let me delete this guy. And get a triangle. Let me get a triangle. This triangle mean. You see, my triangle will still be in this shape. Then I can still edit it. Go to edit menu. This video is gonna be long, but I'll try anywhere. If I see that it's getting long, I'll stop there. Then I'll start the next day. It has, it can do a lot of things. They have. That's why it's really, really, I needed to share it with you guys. It's very, 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 even though you don't use it for illustration, you can be using it to create a lot of things. You don't have to go and download again in, uh, online. You can just create it here. You save as PNG. From here, you can save it as PNG background then use it on puzzle lab i do that often so you see i've gotten a rectangle in the same shape okay i, I added this in the edit menu let's say i click the edit menu i click on this now you see can edit it from here edit from here i can swap from here this one is swapping and here is this one up here use it to rotate 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 then this one now is used to rotate so it's not rotating it's like my phone is angry then here is used to swapping up and down here is used to swapping like this uh, horizontal and this is used to swap vertical this but they use here to adjust then this one is changing the bulb i told you guys now let's say i want something like this now you see i've gotten it let me remove it you see i've gotten something like that let me click edit again you can still get your edict from this menu here once you click select here and click on this object you from menu here you will see a dict you see this is a dict so you can use it to you can still use it to edit it then you click on it let me change it back what pen was that i think it was this fast marker see i've gotten it back so these are then in this edit this is the color aspect this is the place you change the pen then here is where you change your size the size of it and the opacity that is for here then here this last one is for where you see a lot of functions like you can change the shape you can expand you can simplify this simplify means like reducing the dots this is the, a lot of dots now all these dots i can use it to expand this shape so when you click on this simplify when you click on this simplify simplify here you can reduce the number of dots it has like the number of points you can use to adjust because before you see the dots are much all these things are adjustable dots is that just but when you reduce the simplify you reduce this when you increase the simplify you don't have few dots to use to adjust see this now the dots are now few since i press the simplify you see the dots are now few you also use the simplify button to reduce the number of dots so i can adjust this shape to anything i want now after getting the full shape so you have here frame is like this one use it to get adjust is the frame then distort use it to uh, distort the shape distort the shape distort the shape use it to distort the, distort the shape then use this one uh, this uh, smooth i've told you okay this smooth is used to smooth edges but it's a very complex tool though. it's for curved edges like if you you did a curve it's very complex let me draw something and explain that one let me remove from it it isn't drawn and let me get something that is not smooth let me use this draw let me remove from rectangle let me draw something okay so if i want to dig this then i want to smooth it so I edit, click on it, go to smooth. You can now get an angle with this smooth. You see, I've gotten an angle with it. You see, so you can get any form of angle you get with this smooth. It's like giving a shape, another shape you want it to have. You see. So you see that is how this the shape the smoothing works. Then this reshape is on like this smoothing. You can use these lines to get the shape you want. You see? It's like the smoothing key. You see? You can get another shape with it from here. 
But it has to be in one line. That's how it works. We have actually reshaped this. That's how that one works. Then this liquify is like making it in liquid form. Now you can just adjust it anyhow. It's now liquify. And adjust it anyhow. I use this one a lot when I just I find that the point are too hard. So it's not liquefied. You can just adjust. I think this is only the, the key we are going to talk about because this video is getting long already. Tomorrow we'll talk about all these ones. This edit is very very much. That's why I, I have to lament much on it. All these ones won't take us won't take us time from tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll talk about all these ones. So this is how the edict works. Is the liquefy then this part is like adding dots to this then when it's in this part now you simplify you can add your simplify here okay so this one is also a span let me get the simplify i'm looking for this is a simplify you use it to reduce the number of dots it has you see if i remove you see all these things are dots dot dot it's like basic points you can adjust all these shapes now from all this double it will be hard for you so you have to simplify it to reduce the number of dots so that you can effect on it so it's okay now so if i click on it you see the number of dots have been reduced so i can from here now be adjust it to be easier for me assuming those time it was dot 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 everywhere it will be very hard for me so these are these edits work so you just go go and practice on this edict all these ones are just are just i'm not that hard i will explain from tomorrow the video is getting long already so thanks for watching and don't forget to share with your friends i don't see reason you shouldn't be sharing my videos share with your friends and uh don't forget to subscribe and uh have a nice day thanks for watching